Hi, this is Myra McElhaney. I serve on the board of Dress for Success Atlanta. And in honor of Women's History Month, we are talking to women who empower other women. I'm here today with Cassie Van Dyke, who is our programs director for Dress for Success Atlanta. Cassie, tell us how you initially got started with Dress for Success Atlanta. I'm happy to. Thank you so much for having me. I'm actually originally from Minneapolis, Minnesota. And back in Minnesota, I worked with Dress for Success Twin Cities for about seven or eight years as a volunteer. At the same time, I was working as an instructor at the Aveda Institute and was able to connect the organizations so that the women from Dress for Success were be able to be uplifted and empowered by the students at the Aveda Institute. I had such an amazing opportunity that when I got to Atlanta, I wanted to make that same connection again. Now, back home in Minnesota, I had a very different life. I was single, I was teaching, I was volunteering, doing all sorts of things. However, I relocated to Atlanta when I got married. When I got married, I wasn't expecting to have children, but that's what happened. And with that, I opted to stay home with my son for the first three years of his life. And when it was time for me to get back to work, I couldn't find a job here in Atlanta because I wasn't very connected. I'd been here for about four years, but I'd been home for most of that time. So I decided I wanted to go back to volunteering again, and Dress for Success was the first organization that came to my mind. And so I got connected with Dress for Success Atlanta back in January 2017 as a volunteer. Okay, as a volunteer, but now you're an employee of Dress for Success Atlanta, is that correct? That is correct. <laughs> While my plan originally was to volunteer once or twice a week. Um, it started becoming that I was there every day. And after a little while, the director decided she either needed to get a restraining order or hire me. <laughs> Luckily, I was hired. I'm and glad it went that way. <laughs> As am I. Luckily, I was hired at the time and became the volunteer coordinator. And so I worked with the recruitment and training of volunteers. I did that for a while and then transitioned into programs and community outreach, which is the yeah, job that I have now. Okay, tell us a little about the programs. I always knew Dress for Success prior to my involvement with them as a place that you donated your business clothes for women who needed them, but it's so much more than that. Tell us about our program. Absolutely, and I appreciate you asking that question. Our mission at Dress for Success is to empower women to achieve economic independence, and we do that in a variety of ways. As our name states, Dress for Success, we provide professional business clothing to women who have just gotten jobs or have interviews coming up, but that's the very base of what we do. What's really important to note is that we also provide coaching and mentoring. We provide training classes, soft skills, coaching, and also programs that help women to develop the tools that they need in order to be successful as they transition into that independent lifestyle. Wonderful, that's so important. Tell me how you developed such a passion for working with women in need. Really, I, I tell people all the time that I am my mother's daughter. My mother was a single mother. We grew up in poverty. She did every single thing that she could to afford me the opportunities that we would have had if we had the mom and the dad and the white picket fence and the minivan, but that wasn't our story. My mom knew that every woman needed a village, and so she depended on programs like Breast Success to help her to raise me. And with that, because she had a servant's heart and she was extremely humble, she always said, no matter how difficult things were for us, somebody somewhere was having a harder time. And so it was important for us to share what little we had and to pay it forward. And because of that, I really do believe that much of my life and much of the work that I do is in honor of her. How wonderful. I know your mother's very, very proud of you. I believe so. That. As part of Dress for Success Atlanta, tell us a little bit about why you think it's so important that women empower other women. Oh my goodness, I could go on forever about this. I think it's so important for women to have the support that they need from people who understand, from people who have been there. One of the things that we like to say is that we are not in the position of giving a hand out. We want to give a hand up. And what's valuable for us is to have women who can say, they don't just talk the talk, but they walk the walk. And it means so much to our clients when they work with someone who's actually been there. So many of our volunteers, believe it or not, have been through our program. They have been in that hard spot. They've needed a little bit of help. Dress Success has been there to help them get back on their feet and to find their way towards being more successful, whatever it is they have defined success as being. When they come back and share their story, their, their testimony really, 
it helps give another woman the opportunity to say, you know what, if she can do it, so can I. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing that. And if you were watching today and you would like to get involved to help empower other women, this month, Women's History Month, we are doing a campaign called Your Hour, Her Power. And we invite you to donate one hour of your salary to help women through Dress for Success Atlanta. If you want to really have an impact, you could sign up to donate one hour a month for the entire year to help women in Atlanta through Dress for Success Atlanta. You can go to our website, which is uh, atlantadressforsuccess.org and sign up there to help women in need. Thank you so much, Cassie, for being with us today. We really appreciate all you do for Dress for Success Atlanta. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure.